guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is jenna thank you so much for stopping by and taking the time to click on this video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to shorten the chanel strap and do this concoction that i've made up <laughs> it's a little crazy but you know it works so i will show you i'll try to show you how i did it i'm not going to exactly show you how i did this but i'll tell you like the step by step and i will demonstrate on the chain itself this is a requested video so i would like to thank that person who commented on that video that five day first impressions if you haven't seen that i'll leave it down below she asked me how i shortened the strap so here it is i hope you like it and find this helpful i make videos every single tuesday so i'd love it if you liked this video and subscribe down below if you want so without further ado let's get started so you will need some ribbon some tape some string and scissors so i bought the ribbon and the string from michael's the craft store so they have 40 percent off 50 percent off all the time so just make use of that that's what i did i think this came out to be like a dollar or something and this probably a dollar as well so really really inexpensive or you can just find whatever string thing you have or ribbon that you have today i'm going to be using some washi tape because i lost my donut uh tape dispenser and i'm really sad i just ordered another one but it's not the same because my grandma bought it for me but that's okay it'll be in my heart <laughs> but that's the thing that i normally use just get whatever tape you have and then just whatever scissors you have so i did this when I first got the bag because I'm so short I'm only 4'10 and this chain is like 10 feet long it's so long obviously I've shortened it but it was so long it was like going to my toes or something I think a lot of people have this problem anyways so I'm not too left out you know <laughs> so originally I just tied it up with a thick hair tie but if you've watched that video of my first impressions, you will see that it kind of sticks out on the side and I didn't like that. So that is why I was like, no. And also it was such a temporary thing that I thought it would just like come undone eventually. So I didn't want that. So what you want to do, you want to, of course, wear the bag crossbody and also over the shoulder just to measure how you want the bag to look when it's shortened. So what I did, I did this and I pulled it up and used my fingers to take as much excess you want. And I measured how many inches this is. And then I kind of split it into two because I wanted it to look like this instead of it having it to be one-sided. I did that before. I put it on one side and then I just tied the ribbon to this end. But it didn't look as nice when I opened it, so I did this. And this takes a lot longer than just to do this and then tie it and call it in a day. But I wanted the inside of the bag to look nice as well, not just the outside. So... I, it did take me an hour, I think, to do this. And that's why I don't want to take it undone <laughs> and do it again. So, although I do need to like update this part. So you're going to take your ribbon and cut the excess off. Get your tape and tape the end because it's fraying. Take the piece of ribbon with your tape right at the end and make sure the ribbon or make sure the chain is flat just like this. You don't want it to be like this because that will not work. So make sure it's flat like this and you thread it through the inside of the chain like that and then same with the other side you want to line it up as well 
And sometimes it does take a few tries to do it because the leather is so tight inside. But there we go. Just pull it through. And voila. And then you just keep going down. So what I do, I wrap it around first and then do it on this side as well. So you just keep going until you wrap it, wrap it around. But make sure when you're wrapping it, you're also intertwining the ribbon or the string inside the, the links as well. This will make sure it will just stay in place and it doesn't just fall. So a tip I have for you is when you're tying your knot, instead of just tying it once like this and knotting it like that, the traditional way, so what you want to do is tie it like this, so normal, but do another loop and this way it will help maintain and make sure your knot is a lot stronger. So again, same thing, you tie it twice and now it's a lot stronger of a knot. Now for the ribbon, it's super simple. You just tie a knot, nothing crazy. It's just tying a knot right there in the middle. One tip that I have for you is bring the string all the way to the end. The ends right here so that it doesn't slide off when you are when you are <laughs> when you are wearing the bag because when you wear the bag like this and it's open if you're like paying sometimes it does have a tendency just to like fall like that and then it's not cool and i am definitely gonna undo this right now but it's just the camera setup is just so far i cannot see it for my original one you can i don't know if you can tell but i am using nylon the string nylon cording instead of this ribbon and i find that nylon it just slips too easily and that's why i think i have to redo it the knots on the sides are just not strong enough so ribbon will definitely help like the string will definitely help with it just because it's a lot like sturdier and it's less slippy. I will be back once I am done. All right, so here it is my updated string ribbon concoction, how to shorten the strap. I threaded the string inside of the chain right there. You can see I didn't move the ribbon because I knew I would lose my space. So I did one side first and then the other side. The only difference that I made was I taped the ends so it will not come out. So that is what I did and then I just cut it. I snipped it on the side. But there's a little bit of tape there. The only thing I'm worried about is that this tape might like scratch the leather or make an indent, but I think it's, I think it'll be all right, but I will get back to you. So this is how it looks like now. I am super, super excited for it. So the key when you're doing this is not to rush it because it will make a sloppy job. So make sure you have the actual time to do this first. Just now I shortened the strap. I used the string instead of the nylon cord like I said. So a few things that I noticed with the string it frays a lot so I did have to put more tape on it. That's why I put tape. So I will report back to you on that. The nylon cording, the only reason why I didn't like it, like I said, was it was really slippery. So just because I had to put tape on here, I probably had to put tape on this, like the ends as well for this one, just because when I made the knot, it came undone really, really easily. I will keep you updated with my string situation and the tape and everything. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you try this, I would love 
to know so feel free to message me on instagram or leave a comment down below and i will answer your questions if you have questions and i'll see you next time bye